Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. This record is hard. It's way too New York for 6 a.m. in the morning. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this, 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 this is just too New York for nah, 6 a.m. in the morning. I I, I, we don't want to We don't want to hear this That's in South BX. Carolina all over the country. That's BX. Yeah, this, 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 nah, man. Do, 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 Where do, do, they do, at? Do, do. I hope they is the police because I need help. <laughs> I can smell the Pelly Pelly on that record. You can smell the Avery. That sounds like a custom you can made. Smell the Timberlands. Sounds like custom made Louis Vuitton overalls. <laughs> do, 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 do. Morning, Great, hard record, but hard. come on. But too New York for 6 a.m. in the morning. I don't want to hear Two, 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 two. I yeah, love it. Right. Salute to French. All right. Salute we are the Breakfast Gun Club. Too. Just hilarious. Charlemagne the God. Let's get in some front page news. Morning, Angela Rye. Hey there, good people. How so, you feeling? I'm feeling good, but um, this young man who this court ruled against yesterday probably isn't. Daryl George, who is a junior at Barbers High, Hill High School, has been in in-school suspension since August for wearing his hair in locks. Dang. Mm. So you all have heard of the Crown Act. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the Crown Act was designed to protect against this very thing. But this judge in this Texas court said that this particular school um, dress policy does not violate the Crown Act. So the school is c- going to be able to continue to enforce this. This young man walks out of the courtroom in tears and he says all this because of my hair. He's been in in-school suspension, meaning he can't get hot food and he can't get the instructional materials. That's ridiculous. Because wow. of the locks. They had someone mm-hmm. who co-authored the Crown Act on the stand say that this was the very purpose of the Crown Act. That's crazy. So I don't know if y'all have thoughts about this, but so, this is nuts to me. Why uh, Why doesn't he just homeschool at this point? I mean, of, like, hell, he's been homeschooling in a, wherever he's been in the school since August. Mm. Yeah, in-school in suspension is rough, bro. I used to hate in-school suspensions. L- let me stay home. Then stay in ISS all day? But just yours obviously classroom. wasn't because of hair. No, no, no. no, 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 no because no, of hair. No, 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 yeah, so he has these beautiful locks anyway. I I thought y'all would have a lot more to say about that. I mean, I, 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 what's the solution? Like, what can he do? At well, this they're going to appeal it, of okay. course. And I think that they have to continue to emphasize all over the country. There's been a movement that's been one place where black folks have successfully legislated all over the country. We will protect our hair. Mm-hmm. You will not continue to tell us how we're going to wear our hair. That's crazy. This, in 2024, we still having this conversation this about saying. hair. And it, and the civil rights issue of our time is going to be that because yeah. what you can't do it because we're not going to let you touch it because we're not going to let you yeah. physically keep us out of the classroom. And what state was and this again? Parent? This is Texas. Texas. And, and his mentally? parent didn't want to take him out the school to put him into another school. That's like half the year. That's a long time. It is. Since August. You know what I really think, Jess? I think this is about trying to make a statement. Mm-hmm. And they were willing to, you know, let him unfortunately be the martyr of this cause. But it sounds like he's willing. It's just taking not, a toll on him as not, well. Not at the expense of his mental education. health. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. education, his mental health, his emotional well-being, like that. That. Ugh. Or maybe he wants to go to that school. Maybe his friends are at that school. Maybe it ain't no fun if you're not. Yeah, I haven't seen y'all since August. <laughs> Word up, Jesus. But he wants. That's maybe he wants to go back and hang with his friends. You know, and that's he's horrible, willing to man. take that. No, well, do it. or just say I w- I'm gonna protect my hair at all costs. I don't know where else he could go. That's the entire school district that has that dress code. Mm. Um, so speaking of um, America not being a racist country. Uh, South, the South Carolina um, GOP primary will be this Saturday, mm-hmm. um, the 24th. And Charles Barkley, um, who's not a South Carolina voter, but is very excited to uh, vote for Nikki Haley, had this to say um, when she was on his show on CNN. I want to give all my energy behind your campaign, but I was upset when you made the reference that you didn't think America had racism. So first of all, I never said that there was not racism in America. There absolutely is racism in America. I said that America was not a racist country. The premise of America was never to be a racist country. I think the goal was always to have freedom. Now, so, now we stumbled along the way and we've got some parts of our history that were not pretty, mm-hmm. but we got past that. I don't think that our founders wanted us to have a racist country. I don't believe that that's the basis that America sits on. I think it's always to be the best country with the most freedom that allows anybody to be whatever they want to be without government getting in their way or anybody else getting in their way. Angela Rye, thoughts? (laughs) (laughs) It's so interesting watch people squirmy wormy on this subject. I think what's more interesting here is Charles Barkley saying to her, which we didn't roll, Governor, I'm dying to vote for you. So I said yesterday on Twitter, RIP then, Charles, because she's not going to be in much longer. She might make it to (laughs) Super Tuesday on March 5th, but it won't be much longer beyond that. I think it's ridiculous to say in this here Black History Month, 
that the founders didn't intend. The founders mm-hmm. weren't considering you, Nikki. They weren't considering us. We certainly the weren't considered human. human. Yeah. Like, what are we even talking about? Of course it was built on racism. Chattel slavery is a racist institution. When will politicians just simply say, we can't say America is a racist country because that's not a good electoral strategy? Like, that's really what it's all about. But- right? It doesn't matter if it's uh, Congressman Clyburn, VP Harris, Tim Scott, Nikki Haley, none of them can say America's a racist country because they know that's not a good electoral strategy. Well, here's the bottom line. Mm-hmm. I think that that actually is a good electoral strategy. Really? It's, oh, it's always a good strategy to tell, to the, tell truth. the truth. Yeah, absolutely. Always. Like, <laughs> I think that's first and foremost. We have to get to the point where that's acceptable. Until then, we're going to be dealing stuff like with the Crown absolutely. Act in Texas. But until then, they, mm, yeah. they, the reason they do that is because it's, they, they feel it's not a good electoral strategy. They do feel that way. Yes. Yeah, they do feel that way. So right. I think that's all we have time for. Mm-hmm. But We'll get to some more in the next hour. What are we talking about next hour? Well, I want to talk about MAGA red bottoms. Oh, the sneakers, the sneakers. Yeah. Let's see what you got on your feet. Right the now. mega red bottom. They're Pumas. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, if I buy a red bottom, it will not be a Trump sneaker. No. Let me be very clear. If I got to spend $400 on a red bottom, it's going to be a Louboutin. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll talk that next hour. And everybody else, get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open again. 800-585-1051. It's a Friday. Call us now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. I know French Montana joining us this hour, and um, he got a, he got mac and cheese five out, and I do like this record, but I don't want to hear this at seven in the morning, bro. Do 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 do. No, no. Just, and you be angry all day for no do, reason. Do 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 So mad. Like why? I'm mad hearing him do that. Where the man? Yeah, like why are you shooting at us? <laughs> <laughs> morning, everybody. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Morning, Miss Ra. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so since we already angry about it, let's just keep it going. <laughs> the Alabama Senate is busy doubling down in America's racism with the introduction of an anti-diversity, equity, and inclusion bill earlier this week. Um, this bill, well, actually, let's, let's listen to this local news report from WVTM 13. I got that right, Eddie. Let's roll that sound. Seven to three, the bill receives a favorable report. Thank you to the sponsor. Thank you, committee, and we're adjourned. Republican Senator Will Barfoot wrote Senate Bill 129. He says it will prohibit public entities from promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion programs that he says also relate to divisive concepts. Nothing in this act prohibits or prevents students, faculty, organization, or, or associations from hosting DEI programs or discussions that may involve divisive concepts so long as no state funds are used. Mayor Randall Woodfin didn't hold back, asking state lawmakers why would they block fair representation and opportunities for all people. He says he'd help minority athletes and their parents find schools outside the state that prioritize diversity and inclusion if the bill passes. Adding, if supporting inclusion becomes illegal in this state, hell, you might as well stand in front of the school door like Governor Wallace. Okay, Mm. so here's the thing. That what they call a divisive concept, let me just give you all an example, that slavery and racism are aligned with the founding principles of the United States. That's one of the divisive concepts that would ban you from getting any funding for DEI related programs. Randall Woodfin, of course, is the Birmingham mayor and him weighing in on this and saying that he would urge athletes to go to other states despite being a lifelong Bama fan, I think speaks volumes. It is the very thing my dad has spent his lifetime talking about. If our athletes would go to other schools mm-hmm. because they don't respect us, how are you going to do DEI on the football team but not in any other educational principle? Anyway, mm-hmm. I think that is a thing. And hopefully other um, Southern mayors will take note and protest in the same way. Of course, it has not passed. It was just introduced this week. But they're doing this um, all over the country. Mm-hmm. Um, we can move right along to Lennart's favorite, the MAGA Red Bottoms. Um, MAGA <laughs> Red Bottoms. Donald Trump, after he pair. got this. Oh, you're going to get two pair? That's what we're doing this morning? You're going to yeah. march your way to destroying democracy. That's interesting. Let's roll Jesus. this sound. I was on social media last night. Very interesting. As you see, black support eroding from Joe Biden. This is connecting with black America because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, this is a big deal, certainly in in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Question for you on that point, though. Will the people that are excited about the sneakers and excited about Donald Trump 
Will that translate into them going out and voting for Donald Trump? Well, anybody willing to put 400 bucks down for a pair of sneakers? Yeah, I think that's commitment and love. It's a lot of nuance there, though. <laughs> Because he is right. If you do go out there and you buy uh, Trump sneakers for $400, you probably all going to vote for Trump. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, committed. That's a fact. And meanwhile, your dumb ass is yeah, <laughs> right? talking about, I'm going to get you. Oh, well, I'm just joking. Well, you're you're joking. Joking. You, can't, you can't joke nowadays. You should be no, very no, clear. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. on the record, are you going to buy a pair of Trump sneakers? Um, he introduced. It depends these. what the resale value. Thank you. If oh, I can buy them, thank you. <laughs> if I can, if I can buy them for four hundred and sell them for two grand, but that's playing. but that's the truth. I mean, you're sitting here joking, but <laughs> our but culture still, and our people the would definitely do that. They will buy them for four hundred. Not just our people, though. Sneakers come well, in all I'm colors. Talk, but I'm talking about no, our we're people. We're talking about here the culture, I'm like the, about, like the guy just said about our culture. Yes, we would buy that for four hundred and flip it. They were selling for eight thousand. Resale value is crazy. That's what I'm saying. They were selling for eight thousand. Also, ain't nobody thinking about no politics when it comes to that. Nope, that's a flip. You know, I'm just telling y'all. I don't know if it's still this. French Montana song, but I'm real angry right now with the direction of <laughs> this conversation. Do, 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 that's good yeah, I'm about to do 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 y'all. That's just good business. Just, hold on. That's, that's we're talking about this man has introduced the sneaker at Sneaker Con in Philly last week. He's getting smart. Met, met with booze, met with booze though, and he also is doing this right on the other side of getting slapped with a verdict in this state. Yes, but listen, you said he got met with booze, but then his sneaker sold out. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Idiots. Numerous polls. 4,000 4, sneakers yeah, sold out. 4, Allegedly. This is Donald Trump's. This I, is the same man that the reason why he got hit with the lawsuit here is um, because he had an, an illegal I, evaluation I, on his property. I'm with you. I understand all of that. All okay. Of so, I just want to be clear. Okay. Y'all buy any sneakers? Depends what the resale value. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> want to understand. No, we're not buying them. No, we're not buying them. No, we're not buying them. This is literally a game. It's not a game. This is the same. You were just on TV Sunday saying Literally. that this was the end of democracy. This ain't got nothing to do with democracy. We talk about does. sneakers and reselling sneakers. If this dude well, no. can overcome this verdict by paying for it with the money of the poor people who he's built this campaign on. Angela, 70 plus million people voted for him. He has I under support. I, I understand yes. that, but he also is going to continue to get support if we play about what this is. No, This I is think very he's, serious. He's already and got this support. man is on TV talking about this is the way to reach us. The way to reach us from a uh, <laughs> In terms of our votes and democracy and moving this country forward, it's not through buying no damn sneaker. I agree, and it's not by uh, getting on Arsenio Hall and playing the saxophone either. I agree it's with that. About, it's not about uh, you know Congress wearing kente cloth and taking a knee either. But I don't. Yeah, I'm just, I, saying, I I'm just saying they all do corny I, stuff. I, I, and this I, is not just corny. Yes. This is dangerous. You posted a clip this morning about uh -oh. the guy with, with the Trump, the Trump supporter at CPAC saying we're destroying democracy. I agree with you. So listen, this is what I want us to do. Okay. Instead of just getting upset and getting emotional, sometimes we should listen to these people. Well, y'all should have played that song. No. <laughs> sometimes we should listen Man. to these people because mm -hmm. I will say yeah. I do agree with him in regards to Trump having a better handle on culture. And that's just because of how society has shifted. Donald Trump is a celebrity. He's been a pop culture icon since the 80s. Now that politics is pop culture, Trump is killing Biden from an entertainment perspective. So in this era, culture does trump politics. Democrats need to tap into culture a lot more. I agree this, with tapping this. into culture, but I think we have to start distinguishing culture from um, um, an, a fascination with rich. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this man is broke. Because he's also not properly. I don't think it's got nothing to do with rich. I think it has everything to do with that. Black black people, white people, everybody in between aspire to have something they don't. One of, There's a book that was written back in the day called What's the Matter with Kansas? Mm -hmm. The very premise is that you are voting your dream and not your reality. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly what it is. I don't want to get well, that confused with Politicians sell culture. so many dreams. That's what they I, do. I think that's, this is dream selling season. But he's and, not just he's not just selling the dreams of a politician. He's also selling like, sneakers. oh, if you, yeah, sneakers and you can be like me, you can be rich like me. And that's all an illusion. And I also want to say black support isn't just eroding from the Democratic Party. It's eroding from politics, Period. Period. Yeah, but like, I also like, like, think, like I, yeah, people think people think just because Joe Biden might be losing support amongst amongst black uh, support mm -hmm. that people are going over to Trump. No, that's not the case. I agree. They're not going over people to Trump. Are just, people are just disgusted with the whole political process. I agree with Period. that. I'm just going to say, that. I really love you. Oh. Thank you. I, I love, love this too. banter. I love that you call him out on plan. Because now I don't really know a lot about politics, so I ain't going to say it, act like I do, but I'm just like, go, 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 Angela, because damn, boy. This is regular, folks. Playing. No, I love this. This is great. This is how our this phone calls start. Always. And, and we I don't even have it. a French Montana song. Always. He got a lot of shout outs in front page news. But for the record, <laughs> do, do, okay, do, do, do. nobody is buying Trump sneakers in this room, but 
If you can buy them for four hundred and the retail value is do, two thousand dollars, go get your money. Leave it at okay? that. That's a sixty dollars. Go get your profit. money. Go get your money. You know what? You sending these that's people. That's the truth. You sit. Let me tell you. And if they sign, they going for four thousand. Woo! You guys, I just <laughs> come I want to tell you right now. The that hood need the money. We me, need food on the let table. Let me tell and we you. Need a roof you guys do head, not man. listen to just Envy and Lenard. They're hey, rich. Man, do not listen to them. Y'all go slip around here and be off a cliff. That don't have nothing to do with being rich. That's good business. Don't listen to them. It's bad. Buy the shoe for four hundred and sell them for four thousand. That, but they're saying if you got, y'all gonna put the cash, they do 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 to this whole there's, breakfast there, club there, show. There's, there's a resale value. I looked it up. They're on yeah. eBay now. They're going for two thousand on eBay. Come on, man. They sold forty pair last week, and the ones that were signed Come went on for now. more money. You guys, this went That's really business. left. <laughs> All right. Maybe All right. I said really right. Come on it's now. It's a mess. All right. Well, that <laughs> is... Insurrection sneakers. <laughs> Front page. Way to go, guys. No. Way to go. The most Way dangerous. Way to go, guys. Them insurrections. Do, 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 do. Them Trump go, sixes. <laughs> them January sixes. Oh, them my them 1776 sneakers. Ryan playing. She's not laughing. I'm so through with y'all. 400 to 2,000 is great Through with y'all. I'm just saying it's good business. Way over time. Forget Trump. That's just good business. All right. All right. Sorry, Jess. When we come back, French Montana will be joining us at the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.